Hey guys, I'm in the middle of a major garage overhaul. And one of the issues that we have is my daughter's electronic quads. We have no place to charge those. Where they used to charge is now right here. And it falls right in the center, right behind those two storage cabinets. So I need a outlet right here and there is no outlet, but I do have an outlet over here. And so what I want to do is add the new outlet while pulling from the existing circuit right there. I actually did this same thing a few months ago whenever I turned this closet into like a storage and charging area for all my electronics for cameras and stuff. And all I did was pull from that outlet on this side of the wall in the bathroom to right there on this side in the closet because yeah, they don't put outlets in closets. Only I could organize all that. All right, I'm just gonna take the Wi-Fi extender out here. And what I like to use when I'm doing this is a little outlet GFCI outlet tester. And, okay. So as you can see, the two lights are lit up. That is correct. And I can go upstairs and I can flip the breaker off. But what I like to do is if I just push the button to press for the GFCI test, that'll actually trip that breaker. It does for me. I'm not an electrician, let's go see. Did I just rhyme? Yeah, I guess today we're rapping about electricity. <gasps> and you can see right here, downstairs, garage and laundry lights. And it had already tripped that breaker. So I know that's good to go. If you use it on a GFCI outlet, it just trips it here at the outlet and you can reset and you see, you still have power. So don't do this on a GFCI outlet and think you've tripped your breaker. Power's off. The next thing you need to do is figure out which side of the outlet is on a stud. So I've just got my stud finder. You can, you can knock. But that'll get your dogs going. So I'm gonna use a stud finder instead. Now I always find it difficult to use these because as you can see, it goes off every time it gets near me. <laughs> but anyway, let's try it on the wall. Okay, so I know my stud is on this side of the outlet, which is great because that leaves me this whole space right here to work with on the other side. All I need to do is measure where that falls. And as long as I'm between, you know, 21 and 28 inches, I'm good. Okay, so I'm just going to come over 27 inches and this will be the left side of my box. And then the height worked out to about 50 and a half. I'm going to be using what some people call an old construction box. I call it a remodeling box. And the reason is because it has these tabs. So this does not have to go up against a stud. You just use these tabs and put it in your hole, tighten the screw, and it pulls these tabs towards this tab and it squeezes tight against the drywall. I'm just going to draw a level line just so that I get this nice and straight. I actually used a shallow box. Normally this would have been deeper, um, but I just didn't want it to have any conflict with anything inside the wall there. So this one goes wider and I'll pull the wires through the side here. But I'm just gonna trace this on here so that I get the shape that I need to cut out. All right, that's what I'm gonna cut out. So at this point you could use a keyhole saw or you could use an oscillating saw to cut this out. But just to show you how anybody can do this and how simple it is, I'm gonna use a steak knife. You do wanna be careful here though, because likely there's wire running between here. Okay, now I'm just gonna take the plate off and get to the wires. Even though the breaker's off for this circuit, I, uh, I'm just so used to dealing with these from having a cabinet business for so long that I grab them from the top 
because we just have to pull them through cabinets. So that's just how I do it. You can see down in there, this is 14.2 wire, which I believe is for a 15 amp outlet. You would use 12.2 for a 20 amp outlet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bust this back piece right here. Can you see that? I'm gonna bust this open. And I'm gonna run my new 14-2 wire down through there. And this is where if you have little, little arms or little hands, it would be a lot easier. I'm not an electrician, but uh, just so that you can, just so you can have an idea what this is, the way you can tell very easily is the 14.2 is white, the 12.2 is yellow. 15 amp for the 14.2 and 20 amp for the 12.2. Now I can just cut this off. And I'm just gonna strip some of this off. Okay, I've got a black wire, white wire, and my ground wire. Very easy. You have brass screws and you have silver screws. Basically, you put your black on the brass colored screws, you put your white on the light colored screws. And then we've got to connect the ground and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Not every outlet will have this method, but on the, I don't know when they changed these, but anyway, the newer ones, you don't even have to wrap the wire around the screw. You can just push it in the back and that's what I'm gonna do. So white onto the light side and that's in. Black into the Sure you can see that black into the brass side and that is in now i've got to connect my ground and i could just go and i guess double these up around this one screw but i've got these special wire nuts that let you uh, connect two ground wires together one ground wire just goes through the top of the nut right there Okay, so I've got both ground wires here and I'm gonna bring the new one all the way through and the old one and just tighten that down. It just makes it easier to connect it. Reattach that. And now I can shove all this back in. Okay, now back to the new side. I'm going to shove this wire through here and I'm just gonna break this open. Careful, don't ram yourself with it. Okay, push the wire through. Make sure your tabs are back and flush. That goes in nice and simple like that. Now you just tighten these screws and that will tighten the tabs and pull it tight to the drywall. Now we just go through basically the same process here. I'm just gonna cut this. I've got my new outlet. I've got the brass colored for the black wire, silver screws for the white wire. And again, this has the uh, push type in the back. So that's what I'm gonna use. 
white to silver, black to brass. And I'll just wrap the round wire around the green screw. Push that extra wire. I like to use oversized plates in case your cuts off a little bit. In this case, I could have used a regular plate, but we'll just put this on. All right, I'm gonna flip the breaker and let's see if we've got power. <laughs> just kidding. Let's test it. First on the old one. Home. Two lights says we are correct. And on the other side, two lights says we are correct. But the question remains, will it charge a little girl's electric quad? Oh. And that little light tells me, yes, it will. So I hope I've proven to you today that any idiot can install an extra outlet off of an existing circuit. If this was helpful to you, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.